Hey guys, Dark Prometheus here. In our week three aftermath, blowing another game. This time, just, just can't put two and two together to be a game. I feel like the real Bears this season. Starting the season 0 and 3. Losing games by, let's see. I don't see week one. Week two, two points. Week three, three points. I think we week one, we got blown out by 20 points. So we are not looking good. And we go at home against the Packers. And so this... And this isn't a, an, an issue with Cutler. This is a, an issue of not being able to stop Damn, um, uh, the running uh, running game on defense and giving up passing touchdowns like we did to T.Y. Hilton and letting them do much of anything, just walk all over us. So we'll see if there's any players that, uh, actually first let's look at the awards for this week. Right now offensively we're ninth overall and defensively we're 30th. So this is an issue. We're 30th in the league defensively. Um, when it comes, I, I want to see our defensively right now. We are 28th against the pass. Against the rush. Actually, we are not that bad. Actually, we are still 24th in the league. Making us a 30th ranked defense. Even with 5 picks. With 5 picks, which is about... Which is towards the top of the league. Top 10. We... Still aren't putting everything together. So weekly awards for week three. Uh, going to the NFC, Matt Ryan, 26 of 36, 358 passing yards, three touchdowns. Did throw one pick and took one sack. AFC, Kellen Moore over to Pittsburgh. I guess Roethlisberger is hurt. 18 of 26, 323 yards, five passing touchdowns, took two sacks. Uh, over on the defensive side, the NFC, Clay Matthews. Our opponent this week, eight tackles, one sack, two interceptions, and Carlos Dansby, 15 tackles and one interception. If I'm not mistaken, the guy has four, four interceptions this year in the first three weeks. So, damn, he's putting it on this year from that middle linebacker position. Yep, Colts are five, uh, top five offense. So are the Texans. Wow. So Wisconsin center, Jimmy Ferguson hasn't allowed a sack the entire season. So he looks like a stellar play at center, but I think we're going to stick with Hornus Grisau at center. One of the biggest things is we need to fix our run defense, particularly up the damn middle. Like this is becoming just abysmal. Um, middle linebacker, I think we're good. I think. Maybe. I mean, with Pleasant there, I mean, I think, I think we're good. Corner. Look at Reginald Brown. He's 5'11", 185. Let's look at him. Texas A&M, zone guy. Uh, he could do something uh, for us here. He's zone coverage. He's a zone blitz scheme, so I'd hope so. Man coverage and press. So he's a late first rounder. Yeah, he's projected to be in the second round. Dijon Farmer... 
Here it is. Uh, Taylor Peters, third round, Alabama. Attacking 3-4. He's a run support guy. Good press. Ooh. Wow, he's going to drop like a rock. Um, six. Trio Gooden, Florida hybrid defense. He's six foot. He's a man-to-man -man guy. Good man. And yeah, he's going to drop like a rock too. Levante Lindsey. If he's in a Tampa 2, he's got to be... Uh, he's a run support guy. Tamarcus Hatcher, Rhode Island base 3-4. Six foot. He is a man-to-man -man guy. So, good man. Damn, what is with all these man-to-man -man guys being... Not all that great. California attacking 3 forward. Ray Sean Lin, uh, Lindley. Balance. Good zone. And he's going to... In the fourth round, what is going on here? Maybe we could pull another... I mean, really? Right now, let's go first. Let's go all positions. Best player available. Tamani Robinson. 3-4 pass rusher. Base 3-4. 258. 23. Power moves. Pursuit. Tackle. Yeah, he's an early first rounder. Top 10 pick. Corner. Rashid, or Rashard Hayes. USC. The 4-3, he's a prototype. And look at this shit. Early first rounder, he's going to drop like a rock too. Um, Don't really need another safety. Tyron Patrick. Or Tyrone Patrick. Michigan State, so blitz. 6-3. Suit. Ooh. He may be something I'll look at. Something i look at. Jamario Tate. First round. He's 5'11. Let's look at his first one. Zone coverage. Uh, he might be something. One thing we will look at is what I forgot to do. What I like to do is mark all the players that I've scouted. As I go through, so A, I can just easily go through if I haven't completed anyone that I've scouted. Also, at the end of the year, when it's looking at the combine, I can just look at all the players that I've scouted, really select the players that I like, uh, unselect the players I don't like, and then from there, look at the combine on all the players that haven't went. So that's my logic for marking all of these. There aren't like big players where I'm like, oh, I'm definitely going to draft them or look at them in the draft. It's just a method to my madness in my head. Okay. Actually, we can scout one more. We can scout one more. So we got down tomorrow, Tate. Seeley Beasley? 22, 6 foot, 22 from Florida. Prototype. Ooh, good tackle. I, I might be going just best player available. So let's look at injury report. Then go through there as we have Alshon Jeffries out three weeks still. Titarius Ingram, so we're missing. Two of our uh, receivers. The Packers missing Eddie Lacy off a of partial MCL. Terry's in 98 overall. Damn. Devontae Adams with a hip fracture. He's out 16 weeks. They haven't put him in the IR because it is possible if they make the playoffs that he does play. And Josh Sutton, their starting left guard, has a hamstring tear. He'll be out for one more week. So we'll see how that shakes up their depth chart. Uh, not much of a shake up. Uh, too much. Let's go to the Packers. 
All right, guys. So Aaron Rodgers, Ryan out behind him. They still have Brent Hundley, obviously. So they drafted him. It would be hard to uh, cut him. Michael Bush is going to be the starter at halfback. So we might be facing finally a running game we can stop. And An Antoine uh, Griffin uh, behind him. Brian Leonard, fullback. The receiver, Jordy Nelson, who they got back after his uh, ACL tear last year. Randall Cobb, and then Joey Marshall, the rookie. And they got Javis Blue and Devontae Adams would be hurt. He would be playing in the slot right now. At tight end, Michael Finley, Richard Rogers, and Kennard Beckman. Uh, Donald Penn's going to be on the left side. TJ Lane's going to be a playing uh, in lieu of Josh Sutton on the left side. So he's going to move over to the right to the left. Corey Lindsley is going to be in the middle. Uh, Blake is going to be playing on the right side. And Brian Beluga is going to be on the right tackle. On the defense, Mike Daniels and then Jeremy Mincy behind him. On right end, Josh Boyd, fourth year out of Mississippi State. And then Alex Carrington is going to be behind him. Terrence Cody is going to be their, uh, their nose tackle with Doug uh, Worthington behind him and Mike Pennell. Uh, Clay Matthews, left linebacker with Hunter Watkins, the rookie out of Northwestern State. Uh, Sam Barrington is going to be in the middle with Ben Hunt, the rookie. One of the guys we looked at out of Wisconsin. And then Colin McCarthy is going to be behind him and Josh Maluga, or uh, Mauga. Uh, Melvin Ingram is going to be on the right side with Noah Gilbert, rookie out of Connecticut. Uh, corner, Casey Hayward, Sam Shields, Demarius Randall is going to be in the slot. Uh, Demetri Carter, of uh, Alabama rookie, and then Dimitri Goodson, third-year player. Haha -ha Clinton Dix in a free safety with Don Jones. Uh, strong safety, Morgan Burnett, the longtime Packer, in his seventh season. And then Robert Jordan, draft uh, rookie draft out of Butler. And then we'll look at, they got Billy Cundiff, obviously the kicker, and uh, Matthew State is going to be the punter. Returning, going to be Randall Cobb and Jordan Nelson with Demarius Randall behind that. Still going to be Randall Cobb with the punts. Third down is still going to be uh, Michael Bush. So that is going to be your update for this week. Going in to Soldier Field to take on the Packers. This is a game we must win to get back on track. So we'll see what our defense can do. We are facing Michael Bush instead of Eddie Lacy. But still have to contend with Aaron Rodgers in that passing attack. So I will see you guys when we are at the game. Later.